DM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all! Wow your friend! Hey friends and fellow crafters, DM Scotty here. Welcome to Tilescapes. Glad to have you with me. Today we're going to do some like kind of ice arches or cavernous doorways. That way when you do your tilescapes you don't have to just have a flat surface. You can have these little doorways uh, connecting all the tiles so it makes it look a little more interesting and has a little 3D element without it inhibiting play, right? Which is kind of my mantra. Uh, another thing we're going to do, a uh, kind of secondary project we're going to do along with this is kind of some ice scatter terrain. So some like you know, ice pieces that uh, that uh, jut up from the floor that, you know, uh, players and monsters could hide behind, use for cover, and that kind of thing. So let's hit the table, and we'll get to working on both of these projects. Here we go. We have our hot wire foam factory hand tool, and a great little tool. You should really pick it up if you're serious about the styrofoam stuff. And I uh, just have a piece of junk styrofoam out of a box. I'm going to cut a circle around the top, but leave the bottom flat. Okay. Then I'll cut the interior out. And boom, we have a door right there. Cool. So now I'm going to cut the edge there. And so that way it won't be flat, right? I want it to have some uh, texture and interest. And uh, go all the way there. Now I'm going to clean it up a bit. There's little jags and that kind of stuff sticking out. So I'll kind of clean it up a little bit. Kind of make the edge not uh, so sharp. And uh, just drag it along there a little bit, very gently. There we go, there's the doorway. Now I want to make the scatter terrain, kind of the ice uh, uh, scatter that's sticking up from the cave, right? So I'm just going to cut a big chunk off this. This is just out of a box, just throw away styrofoam. And uh, just cut around the edge there. Kind of wiggle the tool a bit to get some interesting uh, interest in it. And then same with the top, I'm going to cut that off. And now I'm going to make one that's kind of like concave. So I'll cut the top off there. Some interest, cut those sharp uh, edges off. Do a little bit of interest. Looking great. Super easy. Now I'm going to use this a latex acrylic caulk. This will do two things. It'll kind of cover up the beading that's in this kind of white styrofoam. So it won't be as prevalent. But it'll also strengthen it up a bit, right? So you notice I have a glove here and some water, and I'm going to use a wide brush and kind of brush it on. I'm keeping the brush pretty wet, and I'm getting a, you know, uh, a varying layer of this acrylic caulk on there. You want to tend to make the bottom heavier than the top, more on the bottom than the top, because you don't want to weigh it too much at the top, right? We'll let that dry. Now here's some icicles I made. If you check out uh, my uh, Tilescapes number 20, you see how I did this. And I've done them curved this time though to uh, uh, accentuate the door, okay, or the passage. So I'll uh, just kind of look at that there, measure it up. And then I'm going to just glue a chunk on there, blend it into the piece. This is of course after the uh, all the caulk is dried. Same thing on the other side. And start adding some more. Really a nice effect to this doorway. Really gives a cool effect. And add the last piece here. Nice. Looking great. Looking great. Love it. Okay, now I'm going to add some hot glue to this. Uh, it'll give a nice kind of ice effect to it, as well as, it, you know, it'll strengthen it up too. So you're getting a two for one. I like these two for one deals in this video, I guess. So kind of put that on the door there. Nice. Now we'll do it with this kind of scatter terrain. Just the ice shards pieces. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to just use this throwaway plastic container lid that I got at the store. And I'm going to cut it out in a fairly straight shape, wide enough for the doorway. Okay. And there I've got my piece all ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my doorway to it. So I'm going to glue hot glue on the bottom there, put it in the center, let it set for a second. There we go. Now that it's uh, hardened up, I'm going to kind of trim it up. 
It's going to be a nice base for this, right? Very cool. All right, cool. Now I am going to kind of fill in the base a bit so it looks icy. So I just kind of drag my glue gun over it, the plastic. And pretty cool. Really nice. Make sure it's nice and secure to the doorway there. All right. Same with the scatter, but this time I'm going to kind of measure it around with my Sharpie and then cut it out. Now you want to make sure you cut inside the line because you don't want that to be on the piece, right? So you want to cut inside the Sharpie line. And let's glue this scatter on there. Perfect. Now I'll just kind of fill in the base there a little bit, dragging my glue gun and glue over it. Give it an icy look. Blend it into the uh, ice piece there. Wow, looking really good. Nice and sturdy and secure. Fantastic. All right, now I'm going to use this ice blue and a kind of soft brush, right? And I'm going to get it very wet and then uh, start painting this on. It's, a, it's more like a wash than anything. And just paint it on the base and the piece. And it really does a couple things. It gives a nice sheen to it and a nice kind of icy blue uh, hue also. And don't hit it too much. You want it very watery. You're not trying to make it uh, super prevalent, but you want that kind of a hint of that ice blue in there. Really, uh, really nice effect. I'm going to paint the base there. Paint the piece. The icicles. Nice. Looking so good. Wow, that's so awesome. Okay, one last thing I want to do here is I'm going to add some uh, glitter glue on this. And you see me do this with the other projects. This really adds a nice highlight to this. It helps uh, reinforce that ice effect. Really cool. So easy and cheap. All right, now we'll do the doorway. Just squirt it on there. Just spread it all out. A little bit goes quite a long way. You don't want too much on there, but you want just enough to give that highlight. And with sp spreading it out with the soft brush really does that. All right, sweet. Here we are in our ice caves, right? And our adventurers come up and they hear something roaring inside. It's a Yeti. Roar! Comes out to eat it, have an icy snack. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Wow, look at that doorway, so cheap and easy. Just everything came together to get just a really nice ice feeling there of a frigid ice uh, cavern doorway. Very nice. And then the scatter is just really cool too. Just, you know, same thing. Uh, just, it's uh, surprisingly uh, robust, you know, it's not gonna break up like regular, just a regular styrofoam chunk. So there you go. Very cool, very cool. Ooh, hey, look at all this stuff I can click. Am I brave enough to click one? Oh yeah, you know Roderick, he's brave enough to do anything. But am I brave enough to click two or three or four? Hmm, let's see. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> I bet you aren't. I bet you're not brave enough to click any of these. <laughs> nope, you're not. <laughs>